Hello everyone and welcome to my channel SS Physics Point and I want to share you with you people something that all are watching the videos very carefully thanks for watching the videos and again I want to share something that if you people want to solve question then you can directly ask to me my number is there in the description box directly whatsapp to that number and i will send you numericals for j also need and i have the solution of all the numericals also you can ask me anytime and what type of questions you may be asked to me and in this video i i am going to discuss few numericals which are very important for the point of view of your J exam also for the NEET also this I am going to today I am going to solve some standard questions of physics from the chapter current electricity so let's start one question that is question number one calculate the average speed of the electrons in a copper wire of cross sectional area 1 into 10 to the power 7 meter square carrying a current of 1.5 1.5 ampere assuming each of the copper atom contributes one electron then the density of copper is 9 into 10 to the power 3 kg meter cube and the atomic mass of copper is 63.5 gram just read the question carefully pause the screen and read the questions carefully so आप लोगों को पहले क्या करना है क्वेश्चन को अच्छे से समझना है क्या क्वेश्चन में दिया गया है और क्या पूछ रहा है उसको पहले निकालना है तो आपको बाकी सब याद हो जाएगा ऑटोमेटिकली इफ यू नो द प्रोसीजर इफ यू नो हाउ व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एंड व्हाट इट इज आस्किंग आपको ये समझ में आ रहा है तो आप आराम से क्वेश्चन को अच्छे से कर सकते हो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट तो वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज गिवन योर Average speed, they are asking the average speed. Average speed means drift velocity. So you have to find out the drift velocity. I am doing a solution. Just look at how I am going. They are given, they are asking drift velocity. What they have given? They have given the cross sectional area of a conductor. That is how much con uh, cross sectional area is how much? 1 into 10 to the power 7 meters square. Again, Current, current is how much? 1.5 ampere. I equals to 1.5 ampere. Then what they have given? Assuming each of the copper atom contributes one conduction electron. One copper ka ek atom, kitna electron de raha hai? Ek electron de raha hai. Assume ka. Aapko ye assume karna hai ki, maan lo, ek conductor mein, maan lo, 100 copper atom hai. To kitna electron hoga? 100 electron hoga. Isko pehle aapko assume karna hai. If they get it. The density of copper is how much? This much. Rho is given. Rho is how much? 9 into 10 to the power 3 kg meter cube. That means, what is they get it? 1 meter cube ka mass kitna hai kitna. Density mutla mass for unity volume. So, aap maano 1 gram copper le lo. Sorry, 1 meter cube le lo. Waha par kitna copper huga. 9 into 10 to the power 3 kg. This is kg per meter cube. That means I'm solving, I'll start from here. Then what they are asking? They are asking VD. Okay, I put some question in me. Drift velocity. So drift velocity ka formula kya hai? Aapko pata hai current and drift velocity mein relation kya hota hai? I equals to NEA VD. So area diya gaya hai. Charge of electron in mo VD. They are asking and current is given. You need to find out this number. What was that? That was the number of electrons for unique volume. 1 meter cube mein kitna electron hai? That is known to be N. Ye question mein, jab hum lecture de rahe the, us time mein bataya tha ki N is the number of electrons for unique volume. So, you have to find this number. They have not given. So, let's find out what is N. So I am erasing the question, you write it, then you can solve it. So to get that one, you know, everyone knows that one mole of copper cons 
consists of how much electrons that is Avogadro's number of electrons everyone knows so one mole of copper that is 63.5 gram of copper consists of how much n number of elect uh, atoms that means how much 6 into 10 to the power 23 atoms एक मोल कॉपर में कितना आटम रहते हैं 6 इंटू 10 टू पावर 23 आटम ये इधर मास कितना दिया गया है देखो ये डेट मींस 1 मीटर क्यू सॉरी और हाउ मास दिस वन डेट इस 9 इंटू 10 टू दी पावर 6 आई एम कॉन्वर्टिंग इंटू ग्राम केजी इंटू ग्राम सो दिस विल बी हाउ मास 9 इंटू 10 टू दी पावर 6 ग्राम ऑफ कॉपर consist of how much electron 6 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 63.5 into 9 into 10 to the power 6 पहले आपको क्या करना है 63 gram of copper consist of this much of atom 1 gram कितना होगा 1 gram कितना हो जाएगा 1 div 6 divided by ये हो जाएगा 6 divided by 63 6 divided by 63.5 Again into इतना ग्राम है तो 9 into 10 to the power 6 ये हो गया total number of atoms this number of atoms तो so calculation कर लो इसको 8 atoms इतना हो गया इतना atom हो गया तो so आपको क्या करना है ये हो गया और question में क्या दिया गया है this much one atom contribute one electron in the question they have given that one atom contribute one electron so this much atom will contribute how much electron that much electron so n ho jayega kitna 8.85 into 10 to the power 28 number of what electrons so ye n mil gaya to you know gd gd equals to i divided by n e k I plus to NEA BT, so BT kya ho jayega NEA I divided by NEA So right down, let's put the values, all values This will be 1.5 N is how much? 8.85 Ye lagho ho jayega itna 8.85 into 10 to the power 28 Charge of 1 electron Charge of 1 electron, how much? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Into area कितना दिया गया है 1 into 10 to the power 7 तो यह फाइनल दिया गया है 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter per second तो इसको आप देख लेना चेक कर लेना अच्छे से कैलकुलेशन तो bt हो जाएगा इतना तो bit velocity कितना हो जाएगा इतना यह अच्छा सवाल था इसमें बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं next one we will try one more question write down the question this is also very important question this was a question from S. A. Goma this is a standard question, very standard question find out find out the resistance the resistance of a conductor conductor as shown in figure फिगर में दिया गया है आज सोन इन फिगर फिगर में कंडक्टर दिया गया है उसका आपको क्या निकालना है रेजिस्टेंस फाइंड आउट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द कंडक्टर सो कितना है कैसा है दिखता है कैसा ये एक बॉकेट टाइप का है और करंट कहां जा रहा है करंट इधर से जा रहा है Current is flowing in this direction and in the radius A, you e have A and the radius of this portion is B and the density, sorry, the resistivity of the material is rho and length of the conductor is suppose L. What standard question is? This is very important and one of the standard question. So calculate the resistance of this. कंडक्टर ये कंडक्टर का रेजिस्टेंस कितना होगा आपको पता है रेडियस है रेडियस बी और रेजिस्टिविटी इज रो लेंथ इज एल ट्राई टू ड्यू योरसेल्फ बाय पॉजिंग द स्क्रीन आई एम गोइंग द सॉल्यूशन जस्ट रिकॉर्ड द सॉल्यूशन व्हाट दे हैव गिवन दे हैव गिवन द रेडियस सो हाउ इज 
solve this type of question? To solve this type of question, first find out you take any arbiter here, this is changing. This radius is changing from here to here. The length is changing. You should take the what is the formula of resistance? Resistance ka formula can I go L by A. This length is along the direction of current. Current this direction by the direction ka po lena hai. So R equals to go L by A. So this length is L. So aap is question me aap kya karoge x dono mein pen first thing you should do is you go at x distance take a small ring here this is suppose b x ye aapka pehla kaam hai kahi bhi question dekhe is type ka variable area aur variable length length variable ho raha hai aur area bhi variation aa raha hai to aapko pehla thing kya karna hai aapko first thing you have to do is you go at a distance of x take a small strip of that one that is dx then you will find suppose here the radius is suppose r here the radius is suppose small r at the point x it is the radius is suppose r so you have to find the resistance here con head kar raha hai idhar dekho idhar se idhar ja raha hai length variation aa raha hai so r is varies so how it is varies if you plot a graph if you plot a graph it will look like this this is x axis this is y axis r varies like this r s r ka variation aise aa raha hai to idhar kitna radius hai a idhar radius hai b so this is the this is a straight line so you know the equation of a straight line y equals to m x plus c y equals to i am writing the equation of a straight line y equals to tan theta into x plus c tan theta ho gaya slope into x plus c c matlab constant y intercept y ka intercept kya hai to idhar dekh lo idhar hum log likhenge to kaisa aayega iska tan theta nikalo to ye theta ho jayega to tan theta kitna aayega tan theta will be how much this divided by this so this much is how much this much total kitna de gaya hai b aur ye ho gaya a to ye ho jayega b minus a divided by kitna ye ye distance kitna hai l length ka ye diya gaya hai kitna l so b minus a by l so just write there here there is variable is r so r will be tan theta that is b minus a by l into x ye equation mein likha hua equation of straight line straight line you use straight line in there uska equation likha hua this is the standard equation of which one straight line equation if y is varying like this then the equation is y equals to tan theta into x plus c tan theta is the slope of the straight line ये हो गया इक्वेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन का इक्वेशन दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ ए स्ट्रेट लाइन तो इधर जो इक्वेशन है इसका इक्वेशन लिखना है इधर वेरिएबल कौन है r r इधर से वेरिएशन दिखा रहा है इसका द वेरिएशन इज ऑफ r द रेडियस रेडियस इज वेरिंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो आई एम टेकिंग r इक्वल्स टू स्लोप स्लोप इक्वल्स टू दिस वन इनटू x प्लस c y इंटरसेप्ट कितना है a व्हाट इज द इंटरसेप्ट ऑफ y दैट इज a ये हो गया क्या चीज आर का इक्वेशन अभी हम लोग को क्या करना है रेजिस्टेंस फाइंड आउट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस स्मॉल पोर्शन ये जो छोटा वाला पोर्शन है उसका रेजिस्टेंस पहले निकालो देन टेक द इंटीग्रेशन देन वी कैन टेक द इंटीग्रेशन तो फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू शुड फाइंड आउट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस स्मॉल पोर्शन ये जो स्मॉल पोर्शन है उसका रेजिस्टेंस तो इसका रेजिस्टेंस कितना होगा आर इक्वल्स टू रो L, इसका लेंथ कितना है करंट इस डायरेक्शन में जा रहा है करंट इज फ्लोइंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो लेंथ इज अलोंग दिस डायरेक्शन तो इस व्हाट इज दिस लेंथ दैट इज dx डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया तो ये जो स्मॉल पोर्शन आएगा इसका एरिया कैसे होगा कि एरिया कैसे दिखेगा ये स्ट्रिक्ट टाइप का होगा ऐसे सर्कल टाइप का होगा तो इसका एरिया क्या है पाई r स्क्वायर द एरिया विल बी पाई r स्क्वायर सो आई एम राइटिंग पाई r स्क्वायर रो एल बाई ए ये हो गया रेजिस्टेंस का फॉर्मूला ये हो गया स्मॉल वेरिएशन स्मॉल वेरिएशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इधर जो स्मॉल स्ट्रिप है 
this the resistance of this small strip will be dr equals to rho dx by pi r square just try to understand this question this is very this is a standard question so dr equals to rho l by a rho ho gaya l kitna hai dx area kitna hai ye circle type ka dikhega agar x strip ka to udhar se तो एक डिक्स टाइप का बन जाएगा कौन सा टाइप डिक्स टाइप का तो डिस्टर पाई आर स्क्वायर हो गया एरिया तो हो गया डी आर अभी क्या करेंगे डी एक्स का वैल्यू इधर डाल दो देखो ये इधर आर हो गया इधर डी एक्स हो गया दोनों वेरिएबल अलग अलग है द वेरिएबल आर डिफरेंट सो व्हाट यू विल डू जस्ट टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस वन इफ यू फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव दिस विल बी डी आर विल बी बी माइनस ए बाय एल इनटू dx और a कांस्टेंट है तो कांस्टेंट का डेरिवेटिव जीरो हो जाएगा तो dr इक्वल्स टू b माइनस a डिवाइडेड बाय l इनटू dx तो dx का पहले वैल्यू जैसे निकाल के इधर रख दो फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ dx फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन एंड पुट हियर एंड टेक द इंटीग्रेशन यू विल फाइंड द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस सो आई एम रेजिंग दिस वन दिस वाज dr जस्ट Proceed. What I told like that. Listen one. It was again and again so that you can find the perfect answer. So D R will be D X will be how much? D X will be how much? L D R divided by how much? B minus A. So put the value here. So D R will be. इतना हो जाएगा रो. D X का मैं उधर लिख रहा हूँ L. D R divided by L D R divided by how much B minus A B minus A pi ka pi R square to pi R square. अभी हम लोग क्या करेंगे just take the integration. ये जो छोटा छोटा strip को लेके ये बड़ा वाला conductor बना हुआ है. This total conductor consists of the resistance of this small strip. so just add them or you can simply take the integration so if you will take the integration on the both side so how much it will be so this integration and your integration ka limit kahan se kahan lagana hai r it varies from a to b a to b so you can put the limit it will be r equals to a to b ma ye constant ko aage likh do to constant kon hai rho l rho l divided by b minus a ये हो गया pi integration dr by r square limit a to b तो इसका integration निकालो मैं direct लिख रहा हूँ कितना हो जाएगा rho l b minus a into pi तो इसका integration कितना one by r square का integration what is the integration one by r square that is one by r और सामने माइनस माइनस वन बाय आर बिकॉज़ इट इज आर टू दी पावर हम उस माइनस टू जस्ट टेक द इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन इनटू एक्स टू पावर इन मींस एन प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस वन सो इट विल बी माइनस वन बाय आर सो आई एम टेकिंग डायरेक्ट इंटीग्रेशन सो इट विल बी वन बाय ए माइनस वन बाय बी इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू � Negative sign. Then it will be the answer will be like this. So how much it will be? This will be. I'm just doing here. I'm erasing this thing. So how much it will be? Pi to r will be rho l rho l divided by pi into. ये b minus a इधर भी b minus a आएगा. ये इधर चला जाएगा. ये इधर आ जाएगा. b minus a by a b. So finally it will be this one. This is the answer. This was a very nice question. Try to understand. This is simple mathematics. So write one more question. Suppose there is a conductor like this. The radius of inner one is R1 and the radius of outer one is R2. And you are applying a potential of B. Then calculate the resistance of this conductor. And length of the conductor is suppose L. Simple question. Here they may be asked this question in two ways. You may be connected. You can connect a potential between the inner and the outer side. What I am here connecting are the two ends. I have given the question in the second lecture. 
this may be the potential can be applied in two ways. So here what will be the resistance? The resistance will be formula rho L by A. The, the formula of resistance is rho L by A. So what is the length uh, area of this one? So area of this cross in which area the current flows? Current flows through this area. This area. Upper or niche jo hai, jo is side mein jo hai. This area. Current flows through this area only. Current इधर से नहीं जा रहा है. This much area. So how much it will be? The area will be how much? How much the resistance of this one? The area will be pi r2 square minus r1 square. ये हो गया area. इस area में current flow रहा है. You should take the area. Across which the current flows and length along which current flows. तो कितने area में जा रहा है? ये जो नीचे बीच का हिस्सा चला गया तो जो बचा हुआ है उसी में current flow रहा है। तो कितना हो जाएगा रो s divided by pi into r2 square minus r1 square. ये हो जाएगा resistance का formula. This is the formula resistance of this question. This was a very simple question. You can solve. So then same question can also be asked if the current flows through the conductor. This is a very standard question. If the current flows through the conductor from inner to outer wall. From inner to outer wall. That means you are applying the potential. This one connecting to the positive terminal, the outer side to the negative one terminal. Then what will be the resistance here? The resistance is different to this one. Here the potential is applied across the end. You should take always you should take the length along which current flows. Here the current flows from positive to negative, that is from in, inner to outer order. If this is a conductor, so either say Bahara right current. So you have to find the resistance. This can be asked for a different question. So next one, the slide one more question. If there is a graph, this is also one more important question. If there is a graph. You have, they have given a graph between V versus I for different temperatures. Two different temperatures are there T1 and T2. At which temperature the resistance is higher? Or which one is for T1 resistance is R1, for T2 resistance is suppose R2. Then option which one is current? R1 is greater than R2, R2 is greater than R1. R1 equals to R2 or none of this. और एक तीन ओवर तीन ऑप्शन में कौन सा सही है? R1 ज्यादा है कि R2. R1 is resistance at temperature T1. R2 is the resistance at temperature T2. They have plotted a graph. So how much will be the resistance? So you can find. Just pause the screen. Try to do or question. Then look at the solution. Just take a slope of this graph at a particular voltage V. So suppose this one is current I1, this one current is I2. So what will be the resistance of the first graph? Resistance R1 equals to V by I. So V is the V voltage divided by I. I is the I1. So V1 by I1. Similarly, R2 is the V by I2. This is V, this is I2. So V by I2. Then what they have given? They have look at this graph. Which one is higher? This I1 is greater than I2. So you can find out from this I1 is greater than I2. So I1 ज़्यादा है, I2 कम है. So if this one is higher, then this one will be lower. And this one is lower, so this one will be higher. So you can write R2 is greater than R1. R1 is smaller, sorry, I1 is smaller, R1 will be higher. I1 is less, then R2 will be higher. So R2 is greater than R1, as I1 is greater than I2. Just take, take a slope of this graph. Then one more question, very important question, I am going to discuss also, if, if there is a conductor, if, there is a two conductor. There are two conductors. This length is L1. If this length is L1 and one more conductor, its length is L2. Suppose L1 is 2 meter, 
L2 is suppose 4 meter. And area of cross section both have same area of cross section, same material, same density. They have same material, same resistivity and same density. And its resistance is suppose 2 ohm, then its resistance is suppose 4 ohm. This is R1, this is R2. R1 is 2 ohm, R2 is 4 ohm. And its mass is suppose 2 kg. Then what is the mass of this conductor? Find out the mass of the second conductor. Find M2. Find mass of the second conductor. What they have given? They have given the length and the same area of cross section and the resistance is 2 ohm. Here the resistance is 4 ohm. They have given the resistance of 2 ohm. Here they have given the resistance of 4 ohm. Then what they are asking? They are asking find out the mass of the second conductor. Second conductor ka mass kitna hai nikalo. So what you will do? You have to do. What you have to do? You know the relation between mass and resistance density. You know R is proportional to R equals to how much rho? Rho D density L square by mass. So from this equation we can write R is proportional to L by M. L square by M. So just take the ratio of R1 by R2. So R1 by R2 will be how much? L1 by L2 square into M1 by, sorry, M2 by M1. M2 by M1. R is directly proportional to L square. R is inversely proportional to M. So we can write R1 by R2 will be L1 square by L2 square into M2 by M1. So how much this will be? Just take, just put the value of L1 on L2. We need to find out the value of M2. So M2 will be, just multiply this one. So R1 by R2, you multiply to this one. M1, M1, we need to find out the value of M2. So M1 into L2, square by L1 square. So just put the value of R1. R1 is how much? 2 ohm. So 2 divided by R2. 4 ohm. L2 ka ho 4 to 4 4. 4 into 4. 4 square. L2 square. That is 4 square. L1 kitna hai 2 square. So 2 into 2. Ye kitna ho 2 into 2, ye 2 into 2 cancel ho jayega, ye kar jayega, kitna jayega, 4 kg. So the mass of second conductor is how much? 4 kg. So this will be 4 kg. Just remember this one. This is 4 kg. So this is also a very nice question. Then one more question I am going to solve. That is, if there is a conductor, if there are two conductors, they are connected in series, Two conductor has same area of cross section, they are connected in series. This one length is L1, this length is L2, this resistivity is rho1 and this resistivity is rho2. Suppose this resistivity 1 is, this resistivity rho2 is. And this temperature coefficient alpha1, this is temperature coefficient is alpha2. So find a relation find a relation between rho l alpha such that such that such that the resistance the resistance the resistance is independent of temperature independent of temperature the distance temperature to per depending karega. So, a relation nikalo is still with me. Rho L and alpha. Both the question hai. This is a standard question. They may be asked in your exam also. Or in GE also you will find out this one. So, what is the relation between rho L and alpha so that this conductor is independent of temperature. If you are increasing the temperature also, it will not depend upon the its resistance will not depend upon the temperature. The waves in our houses are used on this principle. They are mixed with two materials. They are called as alloys. 
अलग होते हैं ना उस टेम्परेचर के ऊपर डिपेंड नहीं करते नहीं तो क्या होता है द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ एयर इन दिस प्लेस विल बी डिफरेंट इन कंपेयर टू कश्मीर कश्मीर में इफ यू गो टू देयर द टेम्परेचर इज लोअर द रेजिस्टेंस शुड बी डिफरेंट व्हाट इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट इट डज नॉट डिपेंड सो एक रिलेशन है उस रिलेशन को निकालना है जस्ट फॉर द स्क्रीन ट्राई टू प्रूव ऑफ योरसेल्फ देन लुक एट हियर व्हाट दे हैव गिवन दे हैव गिवन द रेजिस्टेंस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर सो लेट लेट आर वन एंड आर टू आर द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस टू कंडक्टर एट इनिशियल टेम्परेचर एट इनिशियल टेम्परेचर और रेफरेंस टेम्परेचर एट रेफरेंस टेम्परेचर आर वन एंड आर टू आर द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस टू कंडक्टर सो हाउ इल गेट नाउ दे हैव गिवन दैट द रेजिस्टेंस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर इफ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स द इनिशियल रेजिस्टेंस शुड बी इक्वल्स टू द फाइनल रेजिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स द रेजिस्टेंस इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट क्वांटिटी इफ यू आर दिस टू इफ यू दिस टू आर इन सीरीज देन आर वन प्लस आर टू इनिशियल जितने में था फाइनल भी उतना रहेगा दैट यू कैन से इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर इनिशियली वॉट ऑज द रेजिस्टेंस शुड बी इक्वल्स द रेजिस्टेंस एट द Final position because it is independent of temperature. What is the resistance the starting point? That will be equal to the resistance in the final point. So how much it will be? So R1 plus R2 should be equal to the final resistance R1 dash plus R2 dash. These two resistance should be equal because it is independent. Temperature बढ़ा रहे हैं तो जितना resistance आ रहा है, temperature जो initial में जितना resistance था उतना ही है. तो दोनों सेम होना चाहिए इट शुड बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर सो वी कैन राइट यू नो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ आर ऑफ टी आर जीरो इंटू वन प्लस अल्फा डेल्टा टी दिस इज द रिलेशन सो दूट दैल्यू दिस दिस इज द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर एंड दिस इज द फाइनल टेम्परेचर सो आर वन प्लस आर टू विल बी जस्ट टू दिस इनिशियल इनिशियल टेम्परेचर इज हाउ मच आर वन So R1 into 1 plus alpha 1 delta T plus R2 into 1 plus alpha into delta T. This is the final temperature of first conductor. This is the final temperature of second conductor. So R1 plus R2 is here. R1 plus R2. So this will be cancel out. R1 R1. This will be cancel out. So how much it will be? R1 alpha delta T. प्लस आर टू अल्फा डेल्टा टी ये इधर आ जाएगा सो आर वन अल्फा वन एम दस राइटिंग अल्फा वन अल्फा टू दस करेक्टेड अल्फा वन हियर अल्फा टू फॉर सेकेंड कंडक्टर टेम्परेचर कॉम्पिसिटी हाउ मच अल्फा टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच जीरो तो टेम्परेचर भी कभी जीरो नहीं हो सकता है तो ये कितना हो जाएगा आर वन अल्फा वन प्लस आर टू अल्फा टू इक्वल टू जीरो R1, so R1 का वैल्यू लिख लो इधर R1 का वाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ R1 दैट इज इक्वल टू रो L बाय A, सो जस्ट पुट हियर रो 1 L1 बाय A सेम एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन है इनटू अल्फा 1 प्लस रो 2 L2 बाय A इनटू अल्फा 2 इक्वल टू 0, तो ये कॉमन ले आओ एरिया का भी 0 नहीं हो सकता है तो ये कितना हो जाएगा रो 1 L1 alpha 1 cross rho L2 alpha 2 equals to zero. So this is very important relation between the conductors such that the conductor is independent of temperature. This is a nice question. The initial temperature should be equal to the final temperature. Then put the value of final temperature that is R not into 1 plus alpha t. So after writing, you will get the relation this one. So this was all about the questions. Till then, if you want to solve many questions, more questions, then contact to me in the description box. My number is there. You can ask me questions any time or any type of questions. So thank you.